Salam and welcome. My name is Aslam Nkolisi Tawana. Welcome to Black Boy Adventures. Black Boy Adventures is joining Meerkat Squad SA, a group of overlanders from throughout South Africa who came together and called themselves Meerkat Squad SA. In the Meerkat Squad SA, you've got Aslam Nkolisi Tawana with Black Boy Adventures. We've got Mdu Mota. Showstopper, we've got Judas Mpela, Ducky Gone Wild, we've got Steven Mohapi, the rig that he is driving is uh, Stivoski, and he calls himself Stivoski, and then we've got Nduna uh, Mponzi, uh, as well as Lesejo Tailane, who is Sigos the Adventurer. Black Boy Adventures is joining these overlanders on an 11-day expedition in the Northern Cape province. So all the gentlemen, they met up in Johannesburg and drove down to Kimberley in the Northern Cape. And our journey started from Kimberley. First night, we spent at Mokala National Park. Mokala National Park, we spent the evening there. We are going to go to Vatsant. First, we are going to we're doing a drive through the park to the Mukala National Park. And then from there, we're going to Vatsant. Uh, it's a provincial uh, game reserve um, via Kimberley. And then uh, towards the uh, it will be about a three three and a half hour drive. Um, Taking it very slowly. Uh, doing about between 90 and 100 kilos per hour. So we should be reaching that uh, sand. It's now 10 o'clock, so around uh, 1. Then we'll be there, we'll be setting up. We'll be two days in the, in the provincial park. Um, with the rest of the, of the crew from here cut. Then from Mokala National Park, we came to Kimberley to have a short stop because we had an emergency situation. Stephen Mohapi, one of our overlanding buddies, became sick overnight. We had to take him to the doctor, hospital here in Kimberley. Then we spent about two, three hours whilst he's getting medical attention. 
And then from upon that, upon our finish, we then moved up to Wurzand Provincial Nature Reserve. At Wurzand, we spent uh, two evenings. We camped there for two evenings. Black Boy Adventures with the East Mates um, from Mirkat. We are now here at uh, the Wurzand Nature Reserve. We are going to go do some dune driving and uh, to test out uh, our vehicles. We've got off from the crew the four vehicles. We've left back the two Land Cruisers, the V6 and the V8. And then we've got the um, and the FJ Cruiser um, and uh, I had the two high life buckies and uh, the wild uh, the wild track. So we'll be going um, up here Vincent and to see what the dunes are uh, keeping us um, in stock for us, so that we can be able to can take a few rides um, and drive up the dunes and see that. So Vincent, uh, there is a nature reserve really that uh, that is right in smack bang in the middle of the Northern Cape. Um, it's a place that you can come and visit and, and, and what offers facilities that are offered here. Yeah, we are on the campsite there off. So yeah, come along with us and uh, join Black Boy Adventures and uh, with the rest of the crew. And then from there we went on to the dunes. We did some dune serving. After doing the dune serving, uh, we did of going through the 4x4 trail there. drove in the 4x4 trail from there, we left uh, and we went to Okhrabis. At Okhrabis National Park, uh, we spent one evening at Okhrabis National Park. We went to the park there. It's uh, one of the national parks in the country, similar to Mokala. Uh, good morning. Um, we're just taking a stroll. We, had, we camped last night here uh, on the, in, the, in the park. We're now going to the falls to see what the falls has in stock for us. Uh, so, join us as we go towards the falls and uh, see what is happening there on the falls. I'm with my friends. Uh, we are in the Mirkat uh, Squad S8. So, we spend a night here in the park and then uh, from here we'll be moving towards uh, Rimfax Mark. Uh, we also have uh, spend an evening there before we head down to Parinyakpan. Uh, and then... Uh, down south, Nivosville and Tampa and those places. So yeah, join Black Boys Adventures as we explore the, the magnificent waterfalls here at Okhrabis uh, Waterfalls National Park. We were told that, uh, made some research, the word Okhrabis is a Nama word which means place of noise. And when you are at Okhrabis waterfalls, indeed, it's a place of noise. You just hear shua, 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 how the water comes down. Very interesting. We spent one night there and then from there, we moved to Rimfas Mark. Yeah, but okay, now we're saying we're left to 20 kilometers. 
Where are we going? To travel. Where are we going? To spill. Uh, no, no, I don't have travel. where and I don't have time. Why are we wasting time? Shorter distance or taking a longer distance? Where are we going? But again, we are using the the the, the, the We are going to reverse mass. At Rimfast Mark, we came over the Orange River again and went into Freires Valley. And from Freires Valley, we went over the mountain, over the pass there, and went to their hot spring tubs that they have at the bottom of the valley. So we had to drive with our rigs there and we had a wild camping there. No facilities, nothing. We spent there an evening. And it was very interesting. It is a restitution case where the land was given back to the community which was forcefully removed in Rimfas Mark and that area was given back to them by the government. We spent the evening there, we had wild camping, we were staying in the in the river, in the river bed. Um, that that in the river that we were spending our time there. Then from there, we then moved to a place, uh, we came out of Rimfas Mark, <clears throat> back again over the pass, back into Freders Valley, and came all the way to Pass Kenart. Yeah. You will eat the, the long beggars. <laughs> long beggars. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that's a burger. Ah, that part I didn't see. Just 10 kilos after passing Kenart, uh, we, we turned left and we went to a place called Farniakpan. At Forinyak Pan is a very huge pen uh, that we spend an evening there. There as well was uh, wild camping. We spent an evening there, we had a good time there. Uh, we 
we set up our tents there and our campsite. From there we then moved. As we were driving out of Rniak Pan, my air condition went on my, on my rig. So I didn't have an air conditioner going. So I had to drive with what we call in the Northern Cape, the Kalahari aircon, which is the open window. And it's a convoy of eight, of, 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 of six rigs. You can imagine I'm in the middle, my rig is in the middle of the six rigs. And we were just having dust, dust, dust dust and a lot of dust and we then went to Papkale's Fontaine but before we reached Papkale's Fontaine we had a stop over in Branfley uh, where we stopped for lunch we then moved towards uh, Papkale's Fontaine but before we do that we had to go via Calfinia now we stopped in Calfinia I, I then wanted to get my air conditioning fixed. Unfortunately, uh, we stopped at a place, uh, the old town, we couldn't get my air conditioning fixed. So it means that we had to push towards Nivosville and Papkale's Fontaine gas farm without an air conditioning. And then that's how the trip went on till the end. I drove till Kimberley without the air conditioning. So Papkale's Fontaine, we arrived there. It's a gas farm, it's about 25 kilometers. Uh, away from uh, Nivosville. We spent the evening there, a uh, beautiful campsite. Um, they've got ablution facilities, but no electricity. Parkdale's Fontaine at the porch. I'm with my mates here from uh, Meerkat Squad SA. We're just getting the breathtaking views here from this beautiful gorge here in the Nivosville area on a farm called Papkale Fontaine guest farm. Really the beauty of the Northern Cape is unmatched, it's unparalleled, it's, it's out of this world. And uh, we are just uh, camped on the farm here and we came here with a 4x4 route and now we'll be heading towards Tangwa National Park and really that, that is one of, of two of our 11 day journey and uh, trips uh, highlight and we're really looking forward to see uh, what Tangkwa National Park has got in stock for us. Please like and subscribe us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. We then left Papkale's Fontaine and went towards Tangkwa, Karoo National Park. As we are driving towards Karoo National Park from Nivosville, we then joined the R366. Now the R366, they say it is the longest gravel road in South Africa. And uh, we did a part thereof before we turned uh, into the Tangkwa National Park, the road that takes us there. And then we are on our way to the Tangkwa National Park uh, where we're going to spend two, two nights there in Tangkwa National Park. Now, on our way to Tangkwa, one of our members, Nduna, he lost a, a wheel. He got a, a... The roads are really... They are not very, very good roads. I mean, uh, he lost a, one of his tires. He blew a tire. And then we had to stop. Uh, some of the members of the of the convoy stopped to assist him, whilst three members of the convoy went ahead to go and uh, finalize the booking because it was already approaching closing time for for the national park. As we know, the gates in the national park they close at at six o'clock, and the reception closed at six o'clock. So three of us went, and the other three helped him, and then he managed to change his uh, his his tire. We were camping at Tangkwa Karoo National Park. Tangkwa Karoo National Park, we camped at Skap Wachters Bos campsite. While camping.
Like, well, Black Boy Adventures uh, is here with uh, at Tangwa National Park with his mates from Meerkat uh, Squad SA. Uh, we just had a two-day of camping, uh, wild camping here at Tangwa. Uh, no facilities, no water, uh, no toilet, uh, no electricity, nothing. Black Boy Adventures is here at Tangwa National Park. I'm taking a shower in the bush with my mates from Meerkat. Squad SA. So tomorrow we can wake up and around. Um, we did refreshing. Yeah. We're taking a, a shower in the bush. How many hours is it? My buddy Steve Hosky from Steve Hosky 4x4 Africa. I'm using his shower. Take a shower. This is what we call sustainability food. Sustain, sustain yourself. Own electricity generation, own water that you got to bring into the park. Shower facility, toilet facility, you got to bring everything. So we are geared for this. Yeah. We were self-sufficient. Um, we showered uh, with some of our, our buddies. Uh, we had uh, three showers uh, on, on, on the site, uh, mobile showers that we had pitched up. And uh, we showered with that. We drew electricity from, from the sun mostly uh, with the solar power that we had. Um, we had a, a bush toilet uh, that we used here in the... So this was uh, wild camping in its truest form. Uh, we spent two nights here. Uh, the one night uh, we arrived, uh, one day, we, the first day we arrived here, and uh, we, we, we slept, and then the second day, it was mostly for resting, because uh, as we were traveling towards Tangkwa, it's quite a, quite a long gravel road, and uh, it, it was really, it took its toll on, on, on us and on the vehicles. Um, uh, so when we came here yesterday, <coughs> we just had an easy day. We had a good supper last night, uh, a lamb stew uh, that we prepared and some bread. Uh, we cooked bread and uh, baked bread and then we, we cooked the lamb stew. And uh, so today we're just packing up. We're just getting ourselves ready towards moving uh, to our next uh, destination, which is Sutherland. Um, we are on day uh, nine of our 11 day expedition in the Northern Cape, Meerkat Squad SA, um, and uh, us as Black Boy Adventures, um, who are members of the Meerkat Squad SA. Um, this was really a, the longest uh, overland uh, expedition that uh, Black Boy Adventures has taken, and for us as a group, this was the longest. Uh, all of us uh, is the first time that we've come out overlanding for so for such a long time. We usually would come three days, four days three days, four days, two days, but this time, and it included a lot of wild camping, we did 11 days, so really the bodies um, have taken a bit of a, of a knock, uh, the cars, uh, we need to look at it and see what we can fix to while before we go back, and then we'll be going to Sutherland, uh, we'll do some stargazing there in Sutherland, and then uh, from Sutherland, We'll be going to Victoria West uh, and then finish our, our, our expedition uh, on, on, on Sunday uh, morning. We'll be packing and going back home. Uh, Black Boy Adventures, uh, please uh, like and subscribe to us on our uh, YouTube channel. And as well as follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And then after the, the second day, we then left on the third morning before we left Tangkwa Karoo National Park we then went because we were on our way to Sutherland to a place called Stairland just as you enter Sutherland is a is a is a camping is a camping place there we told ourselves we can't leave the Karoo National Park uh, the Tangkwa Karu National Park without going to the Tangkwa Patstal. You know, this is such a, a such a, a big and a, a, a famous uh, farm stall along the road uh, of the R366 between uh, Calfinia and uh, Cirrus. It's owned by a, a gentleman, uh, Omain, and his wife, uh, Tani Susan. Very, 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 very good people. They hosted us well there. We spent a good time there with them. Uh, we took a, a few pictures. We bought some um, uh, souvenirs. 
And, uh, and then we moved. Uh, uh, after that, we, we, st we stood there for lunch. We had lunch at that place. And then from there, we moved and we moved towards Sutherland. At Sutherland, we stayed at a place called Sterland. At Sterland, um, we spent the evening there. And then the following morning, we then went to the South Africa's largest telescope salt in the town of Sutherland. <clears throat> what an experience. And we could also experience, we went right up to a mountain where the big telescope is, and the people took us through the telescope. Uh, the, the guide there, and she explained to us what is happening exactly, what are the types of uh, uh, stars that they're looking at, outer world, space, other planets, and all that. So they, they look at all those things and the cooperations between different countries that has got their own telescopes that are based there on, on that mountain. Very interesting and fascinating stuff. And we watched that and we and we and they showed us the whole thing in terms of what they're doing there at at at, um, at that southern southern African largest telescope. We then left towards um, Victoria West, where we went to Camp Nguni. We spent the, the, the night at Camp Nguni. Camp Nguni was our last evening before we departed and uh, the, the expedition coming to an end. Camp Nguni is a very interesting campsite in that from the road you will really think it is just but one of those Karoo farms, uh, sheep farms, um, where nothing is really happening. Meanwhile, on a copy on the farm, they've built a very nice facility there. That was our, because we've been sleeping in tents, it was a most welcoming um, kind of arrangement that they put us there in the lodge. And we spent the night there, and then from there, the morning, um, we then departed. The rest of the crew left Victoria West, and they went to Richmond and joined the N1 and, and went to, 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 to Houting. And me, I came on the N12 up until, up until Kimberley. By the time I stopped in Kimberley, I had traveled two th in excess of 2,700 kilometers throughout the 11 days. And my estimation of the 2,700 kilometers that I traveled, we must have done about 1,700, 1,800 kilometers of gravel road. So, the rigs really, really, really took a beating on the gravel roads. Beautiful parts of the Northern Cape. Fantastic. Um, like they say, for you to live in the parts of the Northern Cape and in those far-flung rural areas of the Northern Cape, like they say in Africa, you must have hair on your teeth. Because it is difficult to reach those areas. The roads are long, they are gravel roads, they are difficult roads, but people live there. Now, Mirkat SA, because they are campers with a conscious, they said in the communities that we are going to go through, we need to prepare some food packs for our people. So, as a social responsibility, what Mirkat Squad SA did was to put together food parcels. And we distributed the few food parcels in Rimfasmark and the others we distributed in Fernyakpan, uh, in the settlement there next to the pen itself. And we also didn't forget about the children. We also had some goodies for the kids. And the goodies for the kids we distributed in Fraserburg. 
Now Fraser Park is those one of those towns in Kim, in in the Northern Cape, which there's no there's no tar road to reach that town. You only reach it through gravel road. And we were in the in the area. We're passing it on our way to uh, from uh, Sutherland towards um, Victoria West. So we stopped there and had the children and they enjoyed the goodies. So if you really really want to have a want to test your equipment, want to test your rig, want to really see if you can live off the beaten tracks, uh, if, your, if your rig will be able to support you, the Northern Cape is the destination to be. That is why as Meerkat SA, we chose the Northern Cape first. And when we chose the Northern Cape, three areas were our highlights. And to me, I think the three areas that we had, had identified, the one area did not uh, reach uh, uh, up to expectation. And that is why we moved from it. And that was Okrabi. So the three areas were Tangwa, the Southern African Long Telescope in Sutherland, and Okrabis. But Okrabis, According to us, uh, who were there and in the, that's why we moved out of it. We only spent nights. We're supposed to spend two nights. Is that Okhrabis is more for a, for a family type of orientation. It's not really an overlanders campsite where overlanders would enjoy because it was too full. There was a lot of people. But when we went to Rimfas Mark, I think Rimfas Mark really came to the party because. There is a overlander's dream. It's an overlander's dream to be spending time at Rimfast Mark. So there by the hot water springs, it's next to a river, dry river. We spend time in the dry river. So for me, although Okhrabis was a highlight, which we would have loved to, to experience, I think from our perception and our experience, Rimfast Mark was was more of that. So the, in this whole 11 days, the highlight, highlight of the, of the journeys was Tankwa, I think. Oh, no, it was Tankwa. It was the Southern African Long Telescope. And it was Rimfas Mark. Fernyekpan comes close also to a highlight because there's a place that I mean, I'm from the Northern Cape. I was born and bred in Kimberley. I never knew there was a pen like Fernyak Pan. And that pen at Fernyak Pan, really, uh, it came a close for, and I really think I enjoyed it. So this was really an eye-opener. It was the first time that a Mirkat Squad SA came together uh, to go on overlanding like this. It was also a very long one, 11 days, you can imagine. So, but we really enjoyed ourselves. And we spent a good time and there was a lot of co social cohesion between the group and uh, we started to know each other better, to understand each other better. We had people of diverse backgrounds in the, in the, in the group. We had people from, um, from Venda. They're all staying in Gauteng, but they ca others come from Venda. Others come from the Northwest province. Others from Limpopo. Others from Gauteng itself. Others come from Swaziland. So it was really a very interesting uh, kind of experience that we had, uh, all of us. This will be an annual overlanding type of experience where we go as Meerkat Squad, the various rigs come together and, uh, and, uh, and join each other so that we can go on to these trips. For me, I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. I learned a lot of things. I think I'm beginning to understand my rig better. It was, I was not just having my bucket, I was also pulling a, a trailer. And in the group, I was the only one pulling a trailer. I had a Jergens XT160 and my Land Cruiser 79 um, uh, V6. I learned the gear ratios, what gear to engage, what 4x4 four four level, 4 eyes, 4 lows, 
uh, all that we could we could manage to 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 use all those type of uh, combination of the gears and my bucky just performed well despite the fact that it was pulling a trailer like and subscribe our youtube channel black boy adventures and follow us on instagram facebook as well as twitter wasalam pula